Hey everybody, it's your boy Mike here in California on day 11 of the Self-Awareness Project. And I uh, just wanted to, uh, first of all, thank everybody who liked, shared, and commented yesterday on my video. Uh, today, what I want to be self-aware about is if I would have known. Uh, basically, what I mean by that is if I would have known that I would have gotten so much positive feedback from all my family and friends and people that I've met through Facebook. I probably would have done this a long time ago. I, I put it off for a long time. Hey, Freddie, what's up, my man? Thanks for popping in here, buddy. Um, I, I would have done this a long time ago. But, uh, you know, I, I was thinking about it today, and um, there's been so many opportunities I've had in my life. I, I kind of mentioned this in another video. That uh, Thanks for the love, Freddie. Um, yeah, I'm still going, man. I'm doing this thing. Um, I had so many opportunities in the past and uh, where I could have taken advantage of them. But uh, looking back now, I know that it was fear. I was afraid. I didn't have confidence in myself. I didn't think it could be done. I didn't think I could do it. And um, so... When I say I, when I say if I would have known, what I mean is also that uh, I always say this to myself: if I would have known what I know now, back then, how would my life be different? Well, I need to change my mindset, and now what I'm going to do now is tell myself, well, I know now. Now I know. It doesn't matter if I would have known in the past. What's up, B? Cousin E in the house, Vegas in the house, baby. If if I would, you know, since I know now, there's no excuse. Um, my mindset is totally different. If I, you know, if I would have had the, this mindset when I had some of these opportunities, I, I think, oh, I, I could have done so much better. I could have done so much more with my life. But um, that's not what it's about. I mean, I had to go through some of those experiences to get to where I'm at today. So um, I'm really, really self-aware about what I know now, what I need to be doing, and uh, doing this uh, self-awareness challenge being involved with um, some of the people that I'm involved with in some of the groups. Uh, I'm talking about Eddie Martin, who started Break Free Life, Break Free Go Life, uh, Frank Sellerby Sold, Carly, uh, the Hashtag Queen, uh, Kyle Hendricks, Hendricks Hacks, Obsessed with Parenting, um, you know, On the Money Matthews, their show. I mean, there's just so many people that I, that I had never I had any idea that, that would be there around to support me. So, uh, I, what I know now is that social media, this is it. This is the thing right now. I, we're, we're in the bubble. I'm on the bubble, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I need to take full advantage of this. I'm not going to be afraid anymore to uh, put myself out there and uh, do what I need to do. Because I don't want to get to the end of my life. And uh, I, I mean, I've already been saying it. If I would have known now what I know, you know, if I would have known all this back then, it would be different. Well, I, I don't want to get to the end of my life with regrets. Uh, to me, I, I just... Uh, I've ha I've ha the, the regrets are racking up too much, and uh, I don't want to have that in my life anymore. So that's why uh, I feel that you know doing this, putting myself out there, getting to know people. This is me. I, I'm as real as it gets. But the people that personally know me, my family, my friends, they know this is me. This is my personality. And uh, like one of my mentors, uh, Eddie Martin, said, you know, I'm not just sitting in the room. Uh, posting things, you know, not, not saying that's wrong to sit behind a keyboard, but I, I'm putting myself out there. You can see I'm a real person. And, um, you know, the only way that uh, I'm going to grow is to put myself out there, get feedback from others. So, um, that, you know, that's kind of where I'm at right now. I don't want to have any regrets. I don't want to, 10 years from now, look back and say, oh, man, you know, I could have been one of those people that's blowing up on social media, or I could have been a person that wrote a book. I could have been this. I could have been that. And um, I, I refuse to live my life like that anymore. So today is the day that, uh, you know, I, I'm making a change with my mindset to move forward. So anybody that's watching this, uh, don't give up. I mean... Don't give up. I'm putting in the work right now to build my business, take care of my family, and uh, that's where I'm at today. So today's day 11 of the Self-Awareness Challenge. I look forward to day 12 tomorrow, uh, being aware of the opportunities that are in front of me, being aware that uh, 
you don't you never know how many opportunities you're going to get you just don't know how many more minutes you're going to get it's a miracle that we're even alive i mean uh, the the odds of us even making it i'm 45 the odds of us even making it to this even being born even coming into this world are totally stacked against us so i'm here for a reason i have a purpose and uh I'm discovering my purpose through this journey, and I thank everybody for coming along with me and listening to me. I'm going to get out of here because I'm starting to ramble, and uh, I don't want to bore anybody. But um, thanks again. If you uh, would do me a huge favor, uh, like, comment, and share this video with people that you think um, may want to uh, get involved with the self-awareness project, let me know. I'd be more than happy to connect you with the people that uh, would be totally down to get you involved with it and uh, you know they're gonna help you out all the way so uh, that's all I got for you guys tonight day 11 I'll talk to you guys tomorrow you have a good one